Hello, happy Thursday. My name is Philo Safagul, coming live from my hometown of Peaceburg, PA. I'm back here in my space, which feels so good to be home, though I've been traveling and unraveling for this last week and a half. I was up in Happy Valley, Pennsylvania, where I used to go to school at Penn State and just had a great visit with so many friends up there. Um, we had gift circles and uh, I had a, basically a flow -a tree sharing almost every day for a week and a half with different groups and people and it was just really fun to connect with all these different circles of people and receive so many gifts and so much just gratitude and new friendships uh, so much fun um, I was uh, out trading a lot of things like for a uh, copy of my album and my book I was trading with people for different things uh, my one friend traded me like these cool survival materials so I could like make a fire at anywhere <laughs> with this weird flint thing um, and I just came back home uh, to Peaceburg and I see I got a, a new shipment of of octopus body massagers as well as a bunch more copies of the flow book which I'm really excited to continue to share um, and uh, Scoobily do just to uh, to peel back for a moment that thought of peeling back is basically the theme of this video I feel like as the seasons are changing here on the on the East Coast um, the leaves are shedding all their their layers and becoming bare and um, the trees are just becoming like a skeleton and I feel like a lot of us are at least myself are going through this process especially right now as times are just changing and accelerating and there's so much crazy stuff happening it's like every day we're peeling back the layers of the onion and we're becoming we're reconnecting to the deeper parts of ourselves or our true selves and we're also peeling back the layers of our relationships with other people and also dissolving these these layers and boundaries between us and the earth and on a greater scale that's what I feel like all this change is really about is just reconnecting and and taking out these barriers so that we can reconnect to what really is a is a is a sustainable relationship with the earth a sustainable relationship with ourselves um, and not just sustainable but thriving and abundant and joyful um, and so on that theme I've been just uh, becoming really sensitive kind of hypersensitive to things as I kind of peel back these layers it's like we don't have this protection of leaves around us anymore so we're peeling back and through that process it's kind of like we need to be healing as we're peeling because we're becoming more sensitive and um, so I've been just going through a lot of personal changes I've been changing my diet eating more healthy and I feel as we become more sensitive it's crucial that we protect ourselves and surround ourselves by things that we we really reflect our highest potential and our highest good you know um, so like I've been trying to drink spring water as much as possible because I've been noticing like drinking tap water it just is starting to really taste awful and I'm just becoming more sensitive to it and if I eat junk food it's like my body is like what the heck are you doing because I'm reconnecting to what my body actually wants um, and the same goes for just like being in different environments it's like I really want to surround myself with environments that are affirming of, of what I'm doing. I mean, I don't want to ignore like negative environments, but yesterday I was on this Greyhound bus coming home and like these people were just constantly complaining and doing all this stuff. And I just noticed myself like absorbing this sort of negative energy. And I think it's crucial that we surround ourselves with empowering things so that we can 
do our best work and actually have the energy to do the things we want and need to do. Um, so just a few things. I mean, I've been making a lot of videos about just things that are exciting and these positive solutions that we can do. Just eating healthy, making raw food smoothies. I'm about to make one, a kale, banana, spirulina extravaganza, which I'm excited about. And I got this crazy music playing in the background. I hope it's not been distracting. It's just this like uh, binaural beats. It's really nice to play in the background as you're meditating or something like that. Um, and like this, this concept of becoming more sensitive, like I, a lot of the things that I'm doing now, I would used to think in my past perspective is like selfish or like pampering or something like that. But now I'm beginning to see that when I do treat myself really well, then I'm truly able to help other people. But if I don't treat myself well, then it's like I'm walking around with like half energy and I'm and I might project my feeling not so good onto other people. But if I take care of myself in the beginning of the day, then I have energy to help people the rest of the day and be of service. Um, so just a few more things that have been helping me is like having a nice meditative space, having an altar of, of things, gifts that people have given you to just remind you of, of what you love and what's true. This is a beautiful quilt that my grandma made for me. Thank you, grandma. <laughs> um, and just having like a space to meditate and do yoga for me is really helpful. Um, and uh, just having things and people and relationships that reflect your highest potential and the things you really want to do, that's what's been really helping me as I've been going through this shedding layers of fear, peeling back the onion, dissolving these boundaries and, and reconnecting with these things that are so, so powerful. And it's like every time you peel back the layer, you become more sensitive, but then you're able to just experience more expansive connection with with nature and with other people, and it just feels so good. Um, so I'd love to hear any thoughts you have on this process of healing and peeling and revealing. I think that's what I'll call this video, healing, peeling, revealing. Um, and yeah, so many beautiful things are happening in the world. I mean, we're going through all these crises, but the crises are giving right, giving birth to so many new things. Um, and I'm wearing a hat that was a gift from one of my friends, Dylan. In fact, I traded him a uh, an alien hat here for a uh, for this hat that is a knit hat. And I just watched one of his videos of this beautiful song called West Wind, and it's just, I'll post a link to it. So, scoobily do, thank you, Brother Dylan. I look forward to seeing you. I'm gonna be flying out to the West Coast again in the end of November. I've been doing the East Coast Flow Tree Gift Circle Tour, which has been such a blast. And I'm gonna be traveling to, to uh, Erie and Philly pretty soon. Um, before and then Indiana before flying out to the West Coast so thank you so much to everyone who's supporting and encouraging this tour and um, if you would like to directly support me I'd be happy to receive a personal message or PayPal contribution whatever you're interested in if you want to trade for a flow book or something we could do that because everything is possible you are awesome. Life is awesome. The world is so awesome. Thank you for watching. And just one more thing that crossed my mind. I'm really looking for somebody who is interested in helping me with like, like being a web assistant, like helping me with my website and stuff like that. So if you're at all interested in that, please send me a message. Thank you. Scoobly doo ba doo. Have a happy Thursday. And happy November. Peace.